Skip it up and that up. Oh my god, I'm so angry at Richard, and I'm gonna rage type on my keyboard because he's gonna say something positive about GameStop, and I really hate GameStop. I don't like GameStop at all. So even when I do something good, I'm gonna really be angry if he says something positive because I don't like having common sense. I just want to be angry and rage type. Do you feel the anger through my keyboard, Richard? I'm getting angry right now. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. I suggest you say nothing positive about GameStop. Exposed. Wow. Some of you motherfuckers take this shit way too seriously. So GameStop, you could go to their site right now and buy it, is selling a refurbished PlayStation 4 with a two terabyte hard drive. It's gonna cost you 480 US dollars. I'll have a link to GameStop below in the description. Now that's four times the space of a brand new original PlayStation 4, the 500 gigabyte model. And just to compare prices, a 500 gigabyte PS4 that's bundled with Batman Arkham Knight costs 399. A refurbished 500 gigabyte PlayStation 4 from GameStop costs 359. So I know I'm going to get a lot of hate for this, but I don't think this is a horrible deal. I really don't. I, I, I'm not going to lie to you and pretend just because it's GameStop that I think this is terrible. Here's what I think is going down. GameStop probably went to Sony and said, hey, if you have units laying around that you know weren't up to snuff when they went for testing or you got defective PlayStation 4s back that aren't in shambles, We'll buy them in bulk for like, I don't know, I'm pulling a price out of my ass for 150, 200 each. We'll plop a two terabyte hard drive in them. We'll fix them up and we'll sell them for 480 bucks. Now, if you look around, I looked at Newegg and I looked at Amazon, uh, two terabyte, 2.5 inch drives are going for like a nine, 90 bucks to $110. So you really not, you're, you can't lose in this situation. And I just called GameStop. I want to make sure that I understood their warranty. And usually I buy their warranties um, like at least one year. It's $39.99 in the States and it's a replacement warranty. So if you buy a refurbed PlayStation 4 and you get the warranty for a year and say in 11 months, you know, it starts acting funny, they'll replace whatever you bring in that you bought with your original bundle. So say you just want the console replaced, you want to keep all the cords and stuff like that, you just bring in the console, they get you a new one. I buy the warranties. They've saved my ass before, especially with the Xbox 360, many, many, many times. I would, I had, even though I didn't use my Xbox 360 that much, I, I had a bunch of issues with it. I bring it in saying, oh, it scratched the disc, gave me a new one. Oh, the fan sounds like, you know, it's a jet engine, gave me a new one. So. Look, guys, I'm not being sponsored by GameStop, but I got to keep it real with you. Their warranties are good. I've also bought refurbished systems from them, and I personally have had good luck. I can't account for anyone else. You may know a friend who had horrible experiences with their refurbished consoles, but I know even my fiance's daughter, she has a refurbished Xbox 360, and she's not very gentle with it, and it's working okay. So if you really think about it, for $80 more than a new 500 gigabyte PlayStation 4, you're getting four times the storage. And nowadays, even if you're buying optical, even if you're buying discs from GameStop or from wherever, okay, from Best Buy, so on and so forth, with all the updates and patches that come along with getting new games, you still eat up that storage. So even if you're going out and buying games and you refuse to buy anything digitally, you still could easily eat up that 500 gigabytes with a few games. It's just how it is. Welcome to the eighth generation. So I think this is a cool thing what they're doing. It isn't a horrible deal. So if you don't have a PlayStation 4 and you buy the warranties anyway, like I do, Go buy a refurb PlayStation 4. Your ass will be covered for a year. If something goes wrong, just bring in the console and get a replacement. And you'll have two terabytes of storage as opposed to a measly 500 gigabytes. So thumbs up, GameStop. You did something good this time, in my opinion. You are just one big butt and soul bitch. Up, uh, the gaming nerd Calvary are back. What's GameStop? One of your newest sponsors that now you're trying to advertise their refurbished consoles. So we could all buy them and they break and you get commission and we'll just end up exposing you anyway. That's it, man. You nailed it on the head. It's all a big conspiracy. I'm just trying to screw you out of your money. How about I'll just be one of your newest sponsors and pay you in cucumbers, you fat bitch. I don't think I'm ever going to live down that Xbox One unboxing, am I? Nope. <gasps>
Yep. No, probably not. What the fuck was I thinking? This is Rich of Review Tech USA signing out. Have a good one. Cucumbers are delicious, though. Ha!